Mark up your model and design your prosthesis with perfection in mind. Carry out all alignments using a dental parallelometer if possible and block out the oral vestibule with wax. The wax up of the oral vestibule is important. Aim for a thickness of 0.5 or 0.6 millimeters. Duplicate using alginate or silicone or gel duplicator for plasters. Use partial flex type 4 plaster. Its stone is very hard and trustworthy. Articulate your model and remember to do the initial retention of the occlusal cervical and that points unite with the mechanical retainers. Mark up your model and remember one millimeter above the interior teeth of the soft gingival areas. Carry out your wax up process and design your retainers. Trim the model as much for the neighboring teeth involved as for the restoration itself. Apply petrolatum over both sides of the partial flex flask. Mix 200 grams of partial flex type 4 plaster and pour it into the flask. Immerse the model carefully into the plaster. Do not let it make contact with the wax. After five minutes, reduce the concentration of the mixture with a little bit of water until it turns opaque and is very smooth in consistency. Utilize flat wax for the sprue, 0.5 millimeters thick, and trim it flush to where the flask begins. Seal the sprue completely with wax. Place the chimney with three millimeters of blue inlay wax. Always align the chimney opposite or contrary to the sprue. Stop the entry point of the flask with a wax plug and seal. Close the flask to see if the chimney has the correct height. The chimney must protrude from the flask. When the plaster has hardened, apply petrolatum. Make sure there is no contact with the wax. Clamp the flask together and fasten with two screws only. Take the flask to your dental vibrator and fill it with partial flex plaster to the top. For the lower half of the flask, use 230 grams of well spatulated partial flex type 4 plaster. After 60 minutes, open the flask. Remember, at this point, we are using only two screws. Let sit in water at 100 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes and open the flask. Remove all remaining wax with a brush or vaporizer. Cover all the plaster zone with our sealing polymer seal flex. Apply in two layers. Dry the first layer for one minute before applying the next. Accelerate this by using a heat gun or even a hair dryer. When the second layer is dry, apply molding flex. Seal the flask and put in all four screws. Program your easy press machine. Set at 280 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes and your injection machine will be ready to use. You can cut your partial flex cartridge in half. Remember, it is possible to inject two prostheses with the contents of just one tube. Spray molding flex over the injection stopper and insert into the easy press machine. Spray molding flex over the partial flex cartridge and insert into the easy press machine with the opened end upwards. Take care that the flask is in the proper position and secure it. Press the on button and after 30 minutes, press the button to activate the injection. The material will start to flow from the chimney. Rotate to open and to free the flask. Then, press the injection button, hold fast and have a cloth ready. Clean the injection stopper thoroughly. Clean the cylinder with a metal brush and wipe the piston completely clean. 
spray molding flex and you're ready. Good to go with your next injection. Always remember to return the injection stopper to the stopper section so you do not forget to use it. After 25 minutes, open your flask by tapping the plaster firmly with a hammer. Recover your case and ready. With just one sprue, the injection is recovered. Cut the sprue with a flexible diamond disc. Remove it completely with a carbide flame type burr. Remove all leftover material and residues. Adjust and begin the polishing process using a felt rotary bit. Continue the process with a black B20 brush. Use water and fine ground crystalline silica or very fine pumice grit for the interproximal spaces. After, use the cotton polishing pad. Continue fine polishing with ground crystalline silica or very fine pumice grit. Begin buffing with a white brush rotary bit with firm up and down strokes. Finalize the polishing process with muslin pad rotary bit and with fine buffering up and down strokes and ready. Flexibility in good hands. Partial flex.